So here we are at Old Norman Hall, the Norman Hall Rehabilitation, where we're um, renovating and rehabilitating uh, Norman 101, as we refer to it as. Um, right now, as far as stage of completion, overall stage, we're at right around 80% complete. So right here, we're at the ground floor of Norman Hall. This is gonna be where the Starbucks goes eventually. There was a, an elevated concrete slab or deck in this location. And part of our work was to strategically cut into this slab and create this open air environment. So here are the, um, the restored, completely restored lockers. These are the lockers from um, 1932. Um, and they're completely restored to their normal or their original condition. So we had a company come in that specializes, believe it or not, in the restoration of lockers and school lockers. They came and took the majority of the parts and pieces you see here to their uh, workspace down in South Florida, uh, worked on them, uh, got out a lot of the dents, the dings and whatnot, then came over here and painted them in place. Um, most of what you see in here is original um, as it was in its original condition in, in 1932. Um, the casework and cabinetry you see here is all original. Uh, we kept it in place. Um, We've made it functioning again where it wasn't functioning before. So whether it was the um, refurbishment of the hinges or other hardware, we're just waiting on some of the final and finishing touches of this casework. The other thing you'll notice in this classroom is that these windows are stained. And that was all done in an effort to maintain the integrity of what this classroom was in 1932. So this is a more typical classroom rather than where before we were in classroom 147. This classroom is more typical uh, of the upgraded classrooms that we've done here at Norman Hall, where you've got a um, acoustical ceiling tile grid system, which allows access to all of the ductwork, fire protection, plumbing, um, and electrical uh, for the university to be able to service and maintain these areas. So you can see, where there's USB outlets to allow students to connect and power up their devices. Uh, instead of removing these doors and putting brand new doors and whatnot in a, a new transom here, we have um, stripped the doors down to their bare wood and we have prepared them to receive new finish, a finish that will be matched up and resemble the finish of the um, woodwork that you see here. So this is the what we refer to as as the historic classroom. Um, we have um, IFAX stands for um, International Fine Arts Conservation Studios. Uh, they're based out of Atlanta and they do uh, restoration work like this all over the country and really all over the world. So you see all the areas that are bright white, that's where the ceiling was fallen down or had fallen down. And they've come in and, and completely, or in the process of completely restoring um, the ceiling. This is classroom 247. So this is kind of a hybrid of the completely restored classroom that we saw on 147, but we had to install this air conditioning unit here. So we had to cut into some of the casework uh, right here but we still restored some of it. Of it. And where you saw the um, stained windows before, you still see the stained windows here. So keeping some of that historic integrity, but you see the, the grid or the acoustical ceiling tile above, the, the conference center, the structure is almost 100% complete. We have uh, some minor things to, to complete. There's some what we call parapet walls that go around the top of the, uh, the roof, but the roof deck is set, all the structural walls are up, the beams are up. Um, we're at a, a, a pretty uh, significant milestone here where we can um, start a lot of the brick work, a lot of the roofing work that goes on with it in a, in a matter of weeks. And that's pretty much it.